Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back for a little Friday night fun as we find out once and for all the answer to the question, is Pete a robot? Spoiler, I'm not going to be believable as a robot at all because I'm vastly too dumb. Hey, Divine Light, thanks very much for the host, though. Appreciate it. So, we're going to be playing uh, the Turing Test tonight, and let's hope, you know, pass or fail at the end of it, let's hope I don't wind up poisoning myself with an apple for, you know, being persecuted. It's not cool. Alan Turing got a raw deal, man. Raw deal. Also, this stream brought to you in part by a very generous viewer who was kind enough to purchase me a copy of uh, the Turing Test. I sincerely appreciate it. You're far too generous, and please don't feel compelled to buy me games. I appreciate it when you do, but it's definitely not necessary. Much appreciated. They did ask to remain anonymous, so, you know, uh, mum's the word, but you know who you are. This one goes out to you. Thanks very much, man. This chick has startlingly green eyes. Look at that. That's like a cat's eye, man, except with less Drew Barrymore. Was that a cat's eye joke to Stephen King film, Pete? Yes, yes it was. There was a little man who lived in Drew Barrymore's wall and tried to steal her breath at night while she slept, but the cat saved her because cats are good and noble beings. Didn't see the fucking dog helping out, did you? Oh, there's a gremlin that lives on my wall. The dog was like, I'm running away from that shit then. I'll be outside begging for a walk. She's clearly an android. Her green eyes clearly make her an android. Man, you're getting all Blade Runner on us, Big J, and it's really early in the stream. You're, you're maybe coming at this a little too Harrison Ford. Back off a minute, man. Back off. It's the easiest way to dictate the games this channel plays. That's certain. Hey, touch my whore button. I don't care. Perfidious Pete is an unabashed whore. You want to touch my whore button? It's right there. I'll let you touch it. Five bucks, though. So we appear to be awakening? Morning, Eva. Uh, what's up? Your wake up oh, God! Johnny Five is... Did Johnny Five and I have a romantic interlude? Hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. Uh-huh. This is not Johnny Five. Never mind. For a moment there, I thought I was having a romantic moment. This is like the post-coitus wake-up with Johnny Five here. We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface. Okay. You are our emergency response. The surface? Aren't we in space? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay, well, hold on a second, Tom, here. Can you give me a minute to get my wits about me? I just fucking woke up. I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. Is that is this my coffee over here on the table? Yes. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need some of this then. Oh, fucking empty. That's a dick move, Tom. Straight up dick move, dog. You taunt me with the promise of coffee and then fail to deliver? I'm getting some HAL 9000 kind of vibe from you, dude. Also, you look like sort of Johnny Five's midget half-brother. What's going on with this? You're like a bad Johnny Five ripoff. Johnny Five is alive, I guess, but this is like post-war Johnny Five. This is Johnny Five who saw some action in Nam, and he came back, you know, blown apart and not quite a whole man anymore. He's got issues, Johnny Five does. I feel a little bad. I probably shouldn't mock him for it, really. He sacrificed the, his robot body for the good of our country. Subtitles would be nice in a game like this. That's interesting. Do our subtitles an option? Let's check settings. Can we can we do subtitles? I'm gonna guess it's gameplay. Um, okay. Display maybe subtitles anywhere? Subtitles. Okay, there we go. Enabled. Good call, chat. Apply. Yes. Why is the... We got a sweet bass drop here, though. I feel like I'm in a club, man. I need a... I mean, I can't have a dope beat like this unless I've got one of those glow sticks in my hand and a tab of ecstasy under my tongue. Does ecstasy come in tabs? I really don't know. The Cool Air 1000 is keeping shit real, though. All right, what's going on here? So basically, we're waking up. All right, this is our... Why do I keep seeing my hands when I walk? That's a little weird. It looks like I'm swimming a little bit. How are my vitals, though? I rate 74. That's good. My blood oxygen is fantastic. Straight up 100%. I've got 10 somethings as well, but I'm not sure what it is. My body temperature is a little low. 95.7. I'm a little cold here. Should I be worried about this, Tom? Am I... I mean, 95 is, is pretty goddamn low for a core temperature. I'm getting borderline hypothermic here. Can I get a blanket or something? Maybe shut off the cool air 1000. 
No, I'm just gonna laugh while I die then. Well, all right, what's in this box? Nothing, I have literally just a coffee cup. Can I like hurl this? Oh, spins nicely though. Oh, I can't even throw it. I just set it back down. Well, I mean, all right. So clearly we're all about the surface of something except Tom, you're kind of an asshole because we're very clearly in space and in what appears to be the orbit of Jupiter. Well, I mean, we're near Jupiter, but we're orbiting another planet. Probably one of the Galilean moons, I'm going to guess. I don't know, it could be Ganymede. It's definitely not Io, because it's pretty big and not rocky. I guess it could be Europa as well. All right, well, let's go... Uh, what's this? Green arrow says go this way. Okay. What's with the... What's with all the fans? Is there a serious ventilation problem in space? Must have some nice hot coffee. The finding a subtitles option is a mini game in itself. Is Johnny Five still upset with his progeny, the Activa S? Well, I don't think he's upset so much as ashamed, chat. One would assume it's just shame. All the doors are locked. Sarah Brooke, cryogenic awakening, 2443, December 24th. Oh, she's going to be up in time for Christmas. Well, that's fantastic, Sarah. Mikhail Tokarev, also getting up on Christmas Eve. Everybody gets up on Christmas Eve, huh? Oh, nope, not this guy. Pod malfunction, 2250, May 12th. So I guess he gets to sleep for an extra seven years because of a pod. No, never mind. Oh, sure. The Canadian guy is going to sleep an extra seven years. And that's what happens when you get your public health care there. Eh, see, eh, nationalize the health care system. This is what you get. Seven extra years in cryo sleep. What nationality is this person? Also Canadian. Wait, is everybody Canadian? Hold on a second. No Canadian flag in here. What about in here? Mm, und okay, so these two are of undetermined nationalities, but the two Canadians are like, well, check it out, eh? Yeah, got to get the maple leaf up there. Got to gotta be up there just in case a Mountie walks by, eh? Maybe uh, in case uh, somebody's trying to make a delivery of maple syrup, they'll know where to leave it. Big Walter, hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. What if they just like the Canadian flag? I mean, sure, I suppose they could just maybe be really huge Maple Leafs fans, too, and they couldn't find an actual Maple Leafs flag, so they're like, well, geez, next best thing, I guess, eh? You're getting up on Christmas Eve. So I guess it's really important for whatever people are that people are awake for Christmas. Whoever's running this show is like, no, nah, man, we can't fucking miss Christmas for cryosleep. Shit, that's, that's not cool, man. You get up for Christmas. Okay, we can use this. Oh, sweet, a 404 air. Well, 404, still in the future. Can we... Uh-huh. Well, this is enlightening. So we're looking at a giant hex dump. I'm wondering if this is some kind of actual decipherable code. No, it appears to be just a tiled series of repeated numbers. And they repeat way too often to be any variety of actual code. Okay, well, I'm, I'm done looking at it. So I can, like, lock my gaze to it and then unlock my gaze to it. That's it, huh? Is there a reason why it has speakers? Is there going to be a Stephen Hawking text-to-voice program that comes on and just starts reading the numbers out to us all robot-like? It's going to be all 40, 9, 20, 7, 6, D, 2, 20, 61, 20, 72. Okay, enough of that. I'm boring myself, actually. True lobby. Sweet, this is where John Hurt's gonna have a chestburster rip out of him. The Tom Touch 05. Oh, Tom Touch 05. This seems like the we found the interface to the Tom unit's like sex protocol. Don't don't touch me, Tom. Briefcase. Okay. So we can't actually interact with objects once we pick them up. We can simply just pick them up and set them down. So this is a grabbing simulator. Yep, another coffee cup. Also empty. This station is cruelly bereft of coffee. This that's the code to make the robot kill all the humans. Can we can we like enact that code? Alright, so there's not there's really like not a whole lot going on. The ISA office, Captain Daniel McLean. Okay. Well, we don't have a code. Let's just try 
All ones? Eh, well, it's worth a shot. Seriously, how do I cancel out of this? Nope. Oh, well, that worked by accident. What's in here? Air conditioning units. It must be really hot in space. I was of the opinion that it sort of went the other way, but I guess if you're exposed to direct sunlight, it could be fairly hot, and Jupiter is mildly radioactive, so it gives off more energy than it absorbs. Wait, the Tom Touch 05 has its own room? So once you engage the Tom unit's sexual protocol, you have to go into the Tom Touch 05 room for your touching? Does said touching come with a happy ending, I wonder? Good thing you're a robot with a short attention span. You'll never read the entire thing in a row. Yeah, that's probably the code to sentience, but I'll never read it because I get bored too easily. It's on the side. Which, which side? Could you be more specific, Tom? Also, why didn't Tom follow me? Is there some reason why you're just back there sort of radioing messages to me? You could have just fucking followed me. It's not going to be hard to figure out where I am. You just follow the sound of running fans. Sweet spacesuit, though. The EMT energy manipulation tool. Well, it's like every other usual manual I've ever seen. Completely pointless because it has we, we literally can't open it. I guess people have finally caught on it. But like, nobody's ever going to fucking read this manual. You know what? I'm not even going to make it openable. This is a manual that just... No, it doesn't, it doesn't even need to have words inside of it. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Oh, well, okay. We are on Europa. The docking station. I, are you going to tell me anything about this gun I just picked up, Tom? Or are you just going to let me sort of figure it out on my own? Just uh, just gonna let me puzzle this one out, huh? What? Don't uh, no no warnings, no instructions, no prohibitions that say like do not put gun in mouth, things like that. Cause I'll eat the gun, Tom. I might swallow it. Docking bay hatch. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the office ISA one first. Oh, here we go. Ava Turing at ISA internal. Why does ISA internal sound vaguely like some kind of weird niche porn site? Be like, no, it's all about the cream pies here at ISA internal. Technical operations machine dot ISA internal. Ship status to Ava. The current ship status is as following. Well, actually it should be is as follows. Even in the future. See, that's how you know I'm definitely not a robot because I took the opportunity to correct that grammar. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. P output, 90%. P peak, 120%. Uh, okay. The noise, 5%. Why does it have a latitude and longitude, though? Hey, Dan, I'm about to initiate my cryostasis. Just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully, there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down here. Ava, you write terrible emails. She's got kind of... I'm beginning to wonder if maybe Ava isn't, an, isn't, isn't a computer. Hopefully we won't need you, but we will miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly. I know he does anyway. Oh, that's fucking creepy. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly, baby. I know he does anyway, but I like to think I'm helping. Good night, sweetums. Dan. Dan, I'm does the follow-up email to this say, Dan, getting a real creep vibe from you. I'm going to mail HR. Please don't contact me ever again. Captain McLean has sent several mails, typically emails, Insisting I check the cryo chambers are functioning correctly. That's a run-on sentence. They are functioning as expected. Please do not feel any apprehension. Captain McLean has been informed. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe whoever wrote this isn't like an ESL person, like English is a second language. Or maybe this is badly translated by a Google Translate. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried. Wait, was that email from Tom? Why are we sending... Wait, wait. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried. That email was not from Tom. Is this guy's name also Tom? We have too many people named Tom. No, because it's in all caps. That's very clearly an acronym. I am initiating my cryostasis in a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up next in 10 years. So to you all, I'd like to wish a good life, Ava. Yeah, I'm getting a real sort of Yoda vibe here. All of you, a good life, I wish. 10 years in which I will see you then. Okay, so how do I how do I get out of this though? Oh no, nope, there we go. All right, so clearly, or maybe maybe it's just the Canadian coming out. Maybe this is maybe they're like French Canadian, and English is their second language. P 
Pete's creepy stalker voice sounds a little too well-practiced. Ah, uh, well, okay. Send more mails to the cryo chamber, stat. Tom needs... What, was Tom, like, semen-fueled then? I don't get the reference. So, flashlight, yep. Can I turn it on? I love that I, my only interaction with the universe seems to be picking up objects and spinning them around. Can I click the button to turn it on, maybe? Nope, nope, none of that. We won't have you activating a flashlight. Just set it back down, you tool. Laptop. Yep. Might as well be a brick. We can pick it up and put it down. Well, I think we've exhausted what little intel there is to be found here. Man, it really wigs me out when I see my own hands when I'm walking. Mostly because if you've ever, you know, been a human and walked around a little bit, you know you don't typically see your own hands when you're walking. That's just, you're, no, they're by your side. Even if you're jogging, you keep them in close to your body. They don't really come into your field of view. That's real weird. This place loves air conditioning units, though. Look at this. They're like eight, they got like five compressors in here. Well, let's just doggle this hatch, then. It's a puzzle game. You're supposed to be looking for clues. Clues to what? How badly Tom violated me while I was in cryosleep? Am I looking... For, it's not really a clue so much as evidence, Chad. You're looking for evidence of the fact that Tom touched you while you were unconscious. It's like the Cosby investigation. Are there jello pudding wrappers everywhere? Is that how we're supposed to know? Well, you see, Tom the robot likes to eat the jello pudding while it fondles the sleeping victims. <laughs> hmm. I don't feel good about that. I did, I, I, you know what? I take that joke back. I'm sorry, Chet. That one that was what that was beneath even me. I have performed the necessary checks. Whoa, Tom, you got some reverb going. Is ready to launch. Did you uh just fall into an echo chamber, Tom, or did you just engage your reverberation module? Because I gotta say, that's got some dope sound to it, man. Can we jump? Oh we can. Okay, so jumping is a thing. Huh. 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 Not much of a vertical on Anna, though. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she's, uh, yep. Not, not really much of a leaper is our Anna. She can fall down the stairs like nobody's business, though. But seriously, look at this vertical jump. She's jumping like two and a half inches. She's got the vertical leap of a uh, morbidly obese diabetic who's missing a foot. You're like, yeah, it lost the other foot to the beatus. Doctor told me I should stop drinking four liters of Coke every day, but fuck him. What did he know? Medical school. Pfft. Foot's a small price to pay, I say. Also locked. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, audio logs. My I favorite think that's thing ever. Wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship will be very quiet without you here. Right. See you when I wake up, Tom. It will be very quiet, Ava, except for your soft moans while you are in cryosleep and I violate you. And you dream of the one that you love, unknowing that you are being sexually assaulted by a robot. Residuals before nulling. Minus zero two, minus zero four, minus zero one. X and Z null to zero. Looking good. It was okay. definitely a Canadian robot. He said Z. Right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I am go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 8 uh -huh. degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. And then there's just the sound of a loud explosion, right? Balance. Nope. By the way. Perfidious Pete, I, you know, I love audio logs as a way to provide exposition and backstory. This is not at all like the kludgiest, shittiest way to introduce the setting to people is by just randomly slaughtered around audio files that are scattered about that they're just like, ooh, excited to find. Seriously, game developers, get a more organic way to deliver exposition because audio logs, that they, they're, 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 they're real shitty. They're real shitty. Just even a fucking flashback would be better. The lander's are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just another ten years of my life. I'm sure you'll be fine. Nothing to be alarmed about. Please, quickly enter the cryotube. No, no, that clothing will not be needed. 
Tom will take care of all your biological needs while you slumber. The land is already. That clothing yeah. can only hinder Tom's access. Okay, so make make this. The good. land is no, residuals before. Guys, seriously, let, let, like let me out of this. There we go. No, I really seriously though, I hate I hate I hate audio logs. Passionately, they're they're just a terrible, lazy, kludgy mechanic. Don't put audio logs in your game. Can we can we like crouch jump? Can we crouch at all? Is crouching a thing? Wait, we seem to be able to crouch. Hold on, we can't crouch very slightly. So if I can I crouch jump? Nope. Can I pick up one of these and stack them? Also no. Whatever happened to that gun I picked up earlier? Anybody remember that at one point we picked up a gun and then nothing else was ever said of it? Ooh. Oh, come on. Let me turn the valve, man. You know, if this was an id software product, they'd let me fucking turn the valve. This looks nifty. What are you doing? Oh, I guess it's an Excel bar chart showing the NASDAQ and updating in real time. Oh, shit. AT&T just took a massive hit. <laughs> well, it's 2043. By now, their terrible customer service has made them long since non-existent. Can take solace in the fact that, like, ooh, the other two ones that are going down must be, like, Comcast and Time Warner. This looks like it should be more well-protected. Am I, am I wrong on this one, chat? That looks ridiculously dangerous, and the only thing protecting me from falling into its whirling, potentially deadly sharp blades... Is this tiny little rope? That doesn't really seem safe at all. I'm gonna have to call OSHA on this one, I'm sorry. This is a, this is a decided safety violation. Wait, does OSHA exist? Is OSHA... Probably they don't have OSHA in Canada. It would probably be like health and safety. Can you shoot it? I don't think we can shoot anything. Both of my hands, when I can see them, which is anytime I walk side to side, appear to be empty. I don't know where Anna stuck Ava. Anna? What's my name again? Ava? Oh, hey, I can sprint, too. My name is Ava, right? Anyway, I don't know where Ava stuck that gun, and frankly, I, you know what? I, I don't think we should question it, chat. Caution, do not cover air inlet. You know, I really, I really kind of want to, really kind of want to cover this air inlet. If only I had something to cover it with. That condom in your wallet from 1984 is still good. By the way, Chad, how's the audio? Let me, I, I'm assuming it's good. No one's made any, no one's said anything, so it must be reasonably okay. Here we go, windows. Yep, there's the endless cold void and the uh, stretching vacuum of a cold and uncaring universe just uh, stretching away from me. Yep. What's the, what's the weird circular thing outside? Is that just like the porch light? Well, it's a spaceship and all, but we just didn't feel right about not having a porch light. So, you know, we threw one out there. Just in case uh, anybody comes a-calling, maybe a neighbor needs to borrow a cup of sugar. Well, you know, like space sugar, it is space. Everything got to have space in front of it. It's a space porch light. In case your space neighbor needs some space sugar for, like, a space cobbler. Can I, what about this air? I guess this air inlet has no warning, so this one must be okay to cover. We could we could freely cover this air inlet. It is not restricted. Wow, we got wicked lens flares going on. Anna, have you got some vision problems we should know about? I mean, look at this. This lens flare is pretty powerful. Either that or, I mean, I'm, I'm maybe straight up blind now. I don't know who your provider of contact lenses is, Anna, but if you're getting these kind of flares, you really should see about your prescription. You may need an adjustment. Bay three. What about Bay four, though, Tom? See, th th fuck you. I'm in Bay four. I'm going my own way. I'm making my own maze, Tom. You don't tell me what to do. Storage unit side B. Is there an A side? Oh, I get it. Okay, so this is probably like the newest, greatest hit from Justin Bieber in 2043. This is the B-side to his, his latest hit, Adult. It's, it's, it's the follow-up to Baby. At first it was Baby, and now it's 2043, so his new single is Adult. But the B-side for that one is Storage Unit. Got to admit, Storage Unit did not hit the top 100. Not, not going to make the hot 100. Back to Tom touching. This does nothing. I mean, it's shimmery, which is nice, but it doesn't really do anything.
By the way, chat, we're checking every bay that isn't the bay the game wants me to go in. I'm nothing if not contrarian. If it says to do a thing, I'm going to do everything that leads me to not do that. What the hell is this? Shouldn't this... Hey, I, you know, I don't want to pick on the Canadian space agencies. Chops here or ability to complete a project, but this looks woefully unfinished. Is, should this pipe be going to something? Did we just not need this part? Was this like the maple syrup tube? And they were like, oh, geez, we should probably just leave it unfinished. It's a little bit cliche. We, you know what? It's fine. We don't need to, we don't need the maple syrup pipe. Or the one that pipes the Labatt Blue into the spigots there at the uh, commissary. Probably shouldn't get our astronauts drunk anyway. I mean, we should, but like maybe maybe just not be so overt about it. Make them hide it in their uh, footlocker. Storage unit. Man, these guys are really into B. No, wait. The side A is also storage unit. I don't think somebody understands the A and B side uh, sort of thing. I don't think they've grasped how that worked. The B side is supposed to be the shitty song you don't give a crap about. You put parents just don't understand. That's the A side. Wait, was parents just don't understand the A side? Actually, I think parents just don't understand might have been a B side. Now, parents just don't understand it was the A-side. What was the B-side to that? There was a single, you know, Will Smith, he came out with the eponymous parents just don't understand, and it had a B-side, which was also relatively famous. Might have been I'm the rapper, he's the DJ. So these other docu-bays are completely pointless. We can't even get a Tom touch out of it. Oh, 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 don't cover the air inlet. You've been warned, chat. It's on your own head if you cover that air inlet. Woe unto you who covers the air inlet. You will suffer the consequences and they will be dire. There is one of these in every room. Was Grady Bryant the mechanic on this space station? He's just like, hey, you said install the valve. You didn't say anything about the Labatt blue faucet or the fucking maple syrup pipe. Those were not on the work order. Grady Bryant doesn't do shit that isn't on a work order. Thought that the vending Labatt Blue Supply was what the Canadian military was for? I don't know. I, I, don't, I think just, like, bragging rights is really what the Canadian military is for. All right, let's get in our pod. Man, that seat is really narrow. Anna must have, like, the skinniest ass of all time. Do I like or dislike motion blur? <sighs> I'm sort of ambivalent towards it, actually, chat. Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiated. Separate. Tom really just wants us to go, is what I'm getting from this. Probably so we can't find the actual evidence of the massive sexual Engage assault he engaged wire. in while we were asleep. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Mm hmm Vaguely nonsensical space Very dialogue. Got it. Five oh alarm. Oh. Looks like we're coming Here comes the uh, obligatory crash. Actually, if we're short of the landing site, shouldn't we maybe... I guess maybe burning late would be... That would make a shoot long, but... It really seems like the computer should have had plenty of time to fucking calculate an insertion trajectory while I was wandering around in every docking bay except the one I was supposed to go to. Tom has commitment issues. He really just wants us to go. So I was like, no, nah, you know, I got an early meeting tomorrow, baby. Could you just get in the pod and maybe uh, head down to the planet's surface? No, no, I promise I call you, I swear. No, it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I had fun, too. Tomorrow night? Mm, I don't know. That meeting may go all day, baby. 